Hey guys, I have a Costco grocery haul. It has been so long since I've done one of these. I haven't been to Costco for about over a half a year now. I was gonna say a year, but no, it hasn't been a year yet. But I think in like the summer was when I went last. So, very happy. Um, I thought it would be more. I was kind of, some of the items were like $20, $25 items. So I was like, oh, it's gonna be like, 350 or something. Luckily, it wasn't. Um, it was $232 with tax. So that's not too bad, actually, considering I got a whole lot of stuff. Three huge bags of oh, stuff that I put in, and then four items that wouldn't even fit into bags. So, oh, so happy to finally do it. Now we have like so much stuff um, that we're gonna put away. So I will start off with we got more of the ciabatta buns. We used the last ones up this week for our vegan pulled pork sandwich, and those ones had been in the freezer for way too long and they had freezer burn, but oh, they smell so good. Okay, and then oh, most of the things were repeats or things that we have run out of and we've needed now for the past couple weeks, but we were just waiting to do Costco. So we got these black bean pasta. Um. Yeah, the same that we always have, but it's just beans instead of any actual flour and pasta. Um, and then, let's see, we got some of the minced garlic, because we are completely out of minced garlic now. This we didn't need, but it was like $4 or something, or $5, and usually you get like a third of the size. Um, and I don't usually use Dijon mustard, but apparently Dan says he puts that in a lot of his cooking. I'm like, oh. I never knew. He's like, yeah, the past couple things I've made have had Dijon mustard in it. So there we go. We use a lot of Dijon, I guess. And then we also got, oh, a huge popcorn. Um, we've started having popcorn as a snack. Um, we kind of have a salty one, and then we also do like a kind of thing of kettle corn um, with some um, coconut oil. So anyways, now we started eating popcorn more, so we have a huge one. Um, Oh, this is really big. This should last us a while though. And then we also got a new um, container of olive oil. Now usually we have Italian olive oil. This one is Greek olive oil. So I'm interested to see if I can taste the difference and what that difference may be, but we wanted to have cold pressed oil and the one that was like the cheapest, the most economical wasn't cold pressed. So that's why we went with this one. No, this is not for you, Chloe. So that's one bag down. Um, uh, let's see. So from Costco, because it's just the two of us, Dan and I, we don't buy too much fresh produce. It just doesn't keep well enough. I was looking at the salad and you get, I think, four romaine hearts for the same prices that you get like two or three. Um, but I just wouldn't eat it fast enough. So we don't usually get too much produce. Um, but we did get these sweet peas or no, sugar snap peas, because they're it's veggies, but they're also good as a snack, and they are a little sweet, so it's good. Um, and then a whole, ah, whole thing of spinach, because I've been putting this in my smoothies every morning, except for the past week, because I ran out, um, but you don't taste it at all, and it just adds an extra helping or extra serving of um, veggies in your day, but also, I add it to omelets and tomato sauce and pretty much everything, so I'm happy to have a big bag of that and I know I'll go through those two things in about a week's time. Then we also got a new double pack of tortillas and yeah, I just bought tortillas the same price that I paid for 10, I got 24, so I'm really happy about that and it freezes really well. Um, now we were completely out of salsa the past two um, egg wraps that we've had, we didn't get to have salsa in it because we're out of salsa. So we got two of those. And then, what's gonna be lunch today? Um, these are the vegetarian or vegetable samosas. So these are always so good and I can't wait to put all of this away and then eat that. Um, and then usually we get um, the powder for the dishwasher, but we decided to try liquid because liquid apparently is better for your dishwasher anyways. Um, and, I don't know, well, it's probably been about a, well, last July, I think, we ended up having to buy a new dishwasher because it broke and we were without one for like two months and, yeah. Anyway, so since it is a brand new dishwasher, more, well, all the other, like, appliances in the house came with the house when I bought it. So that one is the newest thing, so we want to make sure that it stays nice and good. So, we got them. Then we got, um, in the cold bag, um, 
Parmesan cheese. Dan likes to put Parmesan on almost everything, so that's for him. Um, and then just got some butter. It was, I think, $3.99, which seems to be the sale price everywhere. Um, but usually butter is like $4.99 or $5.99. Um, and yeah, since it was the same price, I was like, oh, I might as well get it. And then we got some tofu. Oh no, I just took it out. I can't put this back in, but we freeze them anyway, so we'll put them individually. Uh, and then some half and half cream for Dan's coffee. I just use my almond milk, but he likes that. And then we got some frozen, oh here, some stir fry frozen vegetables. We still have some, but it's always, it's a better deal to get it in that pack. And then, because for my smoothies, I have, as you guys have seen from some of my What I Eat Wednesdays, I put banana, and I, ideally I like pineapple, and then I ran out of pineapple, so then I couldn't, and then like oatmeal, and ginger, and cinnamon. Anyway, so now we have a nice big bag of pineapple again. So the last couple items are ones that didn't fit in a bag, so they're heavy, so I'll show you. Alright, so we got these daily facial wipes that I use all the time. Um, and yeah, some items, and this was one of the ones that I buy all the time, I've noticed how they've gone up in price. Um, usually just like two or three dollars. So these are $16.59.9. I'm pretty sure they used to be like $13.99. But also other things too that would, were like $9.99 and now they're $11.99. Anyways, that's times go off. I mean, at the vet too, we've, where we buy our items from, they increase, so we have to increase our prices too. Uh, but that's fair. Um, we got a three pack of these big Ziploc freezer bags. Um, this wasn't the best price. I think if I were to wait, I'd be able to find this at a cheaper price, like per box somewhere else. Um, but again, it's the convenience and we were 100% out. We don't have these big freezer bags, so we did need them. But some stuff like I did, a lot of people were buying toilet paper, but I did the calculation on toilet paper and it worked out to be 52 cents a roll. And usually I buy toilet paper for about 42 cents and then if I find it on a good deal it's um, 33 cents roll. So anyways I was like well I'm not falling for that and some things were like that as well I calculated out. So but then it's kind of the you have to take into account how badly do you want it now and for that quantity. So toilet paper I still have enough of so I'm like I don't need to stock up but that we do need and I didn't want to go to a different store to get it. Uh, so then we also got ooh, garbage bags. We ended up getting just the, they're a couple dollars cheaper. Um, they don't have the red, um, like, handles. It's just the tabs, so that's fine. Um, and then, oh, I can't even pick that ass up. <laughs> oh, dear. So we got laundry detergent, the Purex. I'm going to talk about it first, and I'll quickly show it because it's heavy. Um, it was the regular price, like, 22 That's not that good a deal, but it was $4 off, so then it made it to be a good deal. Ooh! Okay, that's it. <laughs> and then the last item is one that I just looked this morning and I was like, oh, are we running low on it soon? And we are. It is aluminum foil and I get the huge pack that's usually a small pack that you buy normally from a grocery store is like this size. So it's really big and I noticed that yeah, we only have maybe like two more meters left or something. I don't know. So that's good. So that's it. Everything for 223 or no, $232, which I think was pretty good. Um, nothing too exciting, honestly, but also we're trying to buy stuff only that we need, like, and they didn't really, now that they have all the clothes, or the spring clothes, they didn't really have, like, any nice zip-ups or anything, and I have a lot of workout pants and everything, so I didn't really need anything. Um, yeah, nothing really is that exciting. I didn't get any cookies or anything, I saw the quinoa cookies and I saw other, oh, like the Kia cereal, they have them in... Um, like granola bar types or like bars and I was so tempted to get that but they were like $13 for 10 or 12 and I was like no and we have a lot of granola bars still so anyways didn't get that Chloe there's nothing for you to eat right now uh, so thank you for watching my Costco haul finally okay she's licking the bag of the frozen veggies <laughs> uh, and I'll see you guys later <laughs> bye